What's up, everybody? It's Cashflow Nexus, your favorite chart analyst, giving you the latest and greatest updates on the charts. Today, we're going to be looking at Tezos, another cryptocurrency that I've been requested to check out. So stay tuned for what I have in store for you guys. And today, before we get into that, today's list, we're going to have some scripture first. Then we're going to have a, a subscriber shout out. And then we're going to hop on these charts to see what these charts are telling us. So today's scripture, uh, I don't want to, I just want to say the scripture and give you some word of encouragement because a lot of us feel defeated. A lot of us are tired. A lot of us are going through hard times. A lot of us uh, have might be, even be contemplating suicide. A lot of us be, might be contemplating quitting a job that we might need or we just have no hope at all, no faith. We just might be losing our minds if we are at that breaking point because uh, I'm, I have been there actually recently, probably the uh, last two weeks. I was going through a lot the last two weeks and sometimes I just want to quit. Sometimes I want to give up. Sometimes I'm like, is this even worth doing? And, you know, sometimes we just need that word of encouragement to press on and move forward. So today's scripture is going to be coming out of 1 Corinthians uh, 15, chapter 15 and 5. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. The thing that I, the reason why I keep going no matter what is because I, I have to remember and remind myself that I already have the victory and that I already won and that everything is well because victory is through my Lord Jesus Christ. So that's the message for today for you guys. I hope you receive it and take it. Uh, and you study yourself approved and don't just take my word for it, but keep continue to get a study for yourself. All right. So today, shout out for the day. All right. Is going to go to enough is enough. Uh, shout out to you, man. Uh, uh, I just want to say thank you for just watching my channel and giving your thoughts and opinions. I, I like to talk with my uh, subscribers. If you are, you know, want to be get a shout out or a chance to get shout out, you know, interact with me on social media, comment on my videos, and I'll, I read what people say. I, I care what's on people's minds. I have, I'll, I just like to interact with you guys. All right, but shout out to you. Enough is enough. <laughs> all right, now to these charts. Tezos. Here we go. So. I have drawn this trend line here. This is going to be a really quick analysis. There's not really much to say about this. Um, just going to go over some Ichimoku uh, techniques too. So we are above the cloud. We are cloud here. So that's already bullish. Uh, price has respect to this trend line here. Uh, if we replayed back, let's go back to here. So right here if we had looked at this we were probably wondering if what price was going to do was it going to continue to go up or was it going to come down at some point and looking at it you know it looked like it was just going to fly through you know this level but if you look here this whole area up here is a resistance level so that being said it was worth a look at what was going on with this crypto because it's like well, is it going to move to the upside? Is it going to move to the downside? So once it had gotten up here, it was going to make a move to the downside. You look here, and you know, you don't really see that much. You look here, you're still probably thinking, oh, this is, this is fine. But you, you do realize once you hit resistance, price is going to start showing you that it may want to start moving up or down. So after we have seen that, let's go ahead Let's see, don't want to move too fast. Let's go ahead and, and move this over up here. I don't know why it came down here, but that's fine. Okay, so looking at it, let's see what happened here. So this is what happened. This is why price fell. We had an indecision candle called a doji and it price gapped a little bit and it made a uh evening star pattern so if you have played this you could have entered in right here for your trade all right that's this is why price fell price follows certain things in the market so this would have been your entry all right 
and then your your take profit area would have been somewhere in this zone you wanted to see if it would you know be uh, respected at this trend line here because this trend line is going to act as our support to the bounce to the upside so once we played the market you see that price came down and if you had taken that trade from this area here this is what happened you made a 15 percent gain on your trading not investment but your trading day trading and investing are two different things but they're one in the same if you know how to analyze the charts and invest you'll be a bit more successful holder in a investment and if you are a trader you know how to read the charts you could make even more money and probably multiply that even more so right now we see that price has respected this uh, what you would want to do is wait for that daily candle to close and you and once this daily candle closes as a rejection sign uh you will probably want to enter this this uh candlestick to the upside and watch it continue to play it to the upside so yes this is a bullish move right now uh how far do i expect this to go i do expect it to come back here and possibly make a new uh, a new price uh level so let's see if i'm going to trade this let's see fibonacci extensions so let's go ahead here from this last drop i mean from the first part of the drop right here come down right here so i'm expecting price to get up here at two dollars and it's doing better than xrp right now <laughs> This is a good market to look at. This is where I'm expecting price to come up. That will be a, let's see, from current area to now. That'll be a 26.91% gain on trading this asset if you are trading it. So that's a good percentage. Let's see if it plays out like this. But the first thing I'm looking at is it getting having to get through this region first. If it doesn't break above this, then I'm expecting prices to move further down and probably test here again. But I'm expecting it long term for it to hit this blue line at $2. All right. That's my technical analysis for this today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment and subscribe and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And God bless you guys. All right. So long. Peace. Thank you.